National Educator. Hello students, I am teacher Thaddeus Baluka and today I'm teaching the topic of uh, chemistry, I'm teaching chemistry form 3. Our topic of interest today is the mole formulae and chemical equations. Our subtopic is empirical formula and molecular formula. Welcome. Let's look at our lesson objectives. By the end of the lesson today, the learner should be able to define the empirical formula and the molecular formula. The learner should, be able to, should also be able to use the composition by mass or percentage to calculate empirical formula of a compound. The learner should also be able to use the empirical formula to calculate the molecular uh, formula. We start by defining what is empirical formula. And this is the formula that gives the simplest whole number ratio of atoms of each element present in a compound. It's the formula that gives the simplest whole number ratio of atoms of each element present in a compound. What do you need to do? to know is to be able to calculate the empirical formula and the molecular formula. You need to be able to understand how you calculate moles. And as shown on the screen, moles, of we, have, we need to know the number of how to calculate the moles of an element and how to calculate the moles of a compound. So how do you calculate the moles of an element? The mole of an element is calculating is calculated by defining by getting the mass in grams divided by the relative atomic mass. The mass, the number of moles of a compound, is computed by getting the mass in grams divided by the relative formula mass. Let's look at an example. We have an example there on the screen. An oxide of sodium contains 0.92 grams of sodium and 0.32 grams of oxygen. Then you are supposed to use that information to calculate the empirical formula of sodium oxide. So let's look at that uh, scenario and we, look, we start by looking at which elements are present there. The first element present there is sodium. The other element is oxygen. So what is the symbol for sodium and oxygen is given there. Sodium is Na, oxygen is O. We want to know how do you get the moles. The moles of sodium, we have said to get the moles, you divide the mass divided by the relative atomic mass. We have the mass of oxygen given there as 0.92 divided by the relative atomic mass of sodium, which is 23, and you get the mole there as 0.04. We want to look at now the mole of oxygen, and you have it 0.032 divided by 16, and you get 0.02. From there, we get the mole ratio by dividing by the smaller value to get the mole ratio in each element. So the smaller value between 0.04 and 0.02 is 0.02. So you divide the moles by 0.02. The moles of sodium here we are getting 2 and for oxygen 1. So the mole ratio is 2 is to 1. So how can we get the formula of sodium oxide? And now the empirical formula is equal to Na2 oxygen. That's all you are able to get because you have already got the the, the mole ratio between sodium and oxygen is 2 is to 1. So when you are writing the formula of sodium, as shown on the screen there, that is how you write it. 
let's look at another example. And we have an oxide of iron contains 2.1 grams of iron and 0.08 grams of oxygen. Determine its empirical formula. You are given the relative atomic mass of iron is 56 and for oxygen is 16. Let's look at now how we are able to get the empirical formula.